Hey y'all, welcome to Lisa in Plans or Land. If you are new here, I am your hostess Lisa and today I have a fun video that I want to share with y'all. This video is just going to be a bunch of fashion girls, fashion dolls that I have been picking up y'all and what brought this on you all is because I wanted to pick up some dolls from a shop called Goldmine and Coco, y'all. You all are familiar with her. Uh, I wanted to pick up some dolls with her shop. And what happened was <laughs> I only wanted about two or three dolls out of the collection that she dropped. And when I went in there to get the dolls, y'all, they were $49.50. She had put them in a bundle. And I was so upset because I was like, I don't want all of the dolls. I wanted like three out of, you know, the 10 dolls. And so I was just like, no, I don't want to pay $49.50 for the bundle. And I only want three dolls. Now, y'all, I wanted to pick up some dolls from her the previous month as well and I just thought it was you know a little you know something that she was doing or trying out uh, the dolls were really cute and again uh, they were $49.50 and I didn't like I said I didn't think nothing of it the first time I was like well no I don't want to buy the bundle this was in January and uh, I was like oh but y'all those were some amazing dolls they were so so cute and i just you know really wanted them uh, and then she dropped the ones like i said in february and i was like man i only wanted like about three of those dolls and i just was like i do not want to pay that 49 dollars and 50 cents y'all for just three dolls but anywho that is what brought this sticker haul on i have been on the hunt just trying to find some different shops and things on Etsy and just picking up little different dolls from um, Instagram and all of that stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing the dolls that I have been picking up, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Alright, so this first package is from the Honey Bee Shop. Now I've did just pick these up recently y'all because I was watching Shanice over at Planners and the Tacos and she shared these dolls on her YouTube channel. Here is the little freebie that came with the purchase. This is so cute y'all. Uh, is this supposed to be Maleficent? Uh, I think so. A modern day Ma Maleficent y'all she's so cute and then here is the little business card that came with the purchase planner babe now y'all I used to order uh, stickers from honey and bee shop but I have not ordered from her shop in so long here is one of the fashion dolls that I picked up I thought she was so cute and you all know that I will have a bee spread or a um, sunflower spread in the summer here sometimes so I was like yeah she cute she'll be cute to go in one of my bee spreads something like that so I picked her up and what I really went in there for was this girl right here she is so so cute and she is going to be coming up in a spread real real soon y'all so when i saw her i was like oh my gosh she is perfect for uh this uh spread that i am going to be doing in april so i picked her up and then i also picked up this one right here that says coming up 2023 i thought she was so so cute and i wanted to get her so yeah these are the first few fashion dolls that I am sharing with y'all and I picked these up from the Honey Bee Shop. Stuff I have I purchased from Indie and Ivy Inc. y'all. I wanted to share with y'all how cute this packaging is. This was just so adorable y'all. And then look at the back. 
Uh, I believe that Indy and Ivy. Oh my gosh, y'all, I didn't even see that. This is my name in the little sticker right here. Can y'all see it? It's probably, probably. But uh, I believe that Indy and Ivy are uh, the shop owner's daughters. But y'all, this packaging is so, so pretty. And so, y'all know I'm going to have to save this sticker right here now. So, let me uh, see if I can get this off with some undo. I do not want to tear this sticker. <laughs> Yay, y'all. I got that off nice and safe. I'm going to put this on a piece of sticker paper. I'm going to save that. Oh, I can put it in my little sticker book. Uh, but I am definitely going to save this sticker because I think that this is so, so cute. All right, let's see if I have a page. Yeah, a page in here. Now we go. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. So I'll definitely be using that somewhere in the near future. All right, so let's get into these stickers that I picked up. It's a very small purchase, y'all, but I wanted to get these because my daughter just gave birth to her baby boy. Oh, look! I got another one right here. This is a die cut. How cute, y'all. Or oh, is it a magnet? No, it's a die cut. I guess I did all that pulling off of the sticker for nothing. But anyway, I love this as well. But like I was saying, my daughter... Um, y'all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is... Oh, my God. I'm so mad. Y'all, I thought I had picked up a girl and the boys. But I guess I just picked up the boys. So that means I'm going to have to go back in there and pick up the little girls too. But anywho, I just picked up this one sheet of the baby boys. How cute is that, y'all? She has all different sizes of the little boys on here. Um, at infant baby, toddler you know growing up so yeah just picked up that sheet y'all I thought I had picked up the little girls too but I guess I didn't so I'm gonna have to go back and pick up the little girls as well but that's everything that I picked up from Indy and Ivy Inc. All right next up we have something from an Etsy shop called Coco's Vision and here is the little card that came with the dolls y'all and then here are some of the doll and this right here is katana and y'all this is a nice size doll just love the detail in these stickers look at her little shoes y'all and then her jeans and her top she's holding her little Louis Vuitton bag but I thought that she was really really cute and then I picked up Lache she is a thick girl as well loved her loved her purple lipstick the hair is just so detailed the top with the lace in it y'all just really really cute now the only thing i can say about these particular stickers right here is the border the border is a little thick on um these stickers right here but um, when you put these on white paper, it kind of blends into the background. So um, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. And then the last one that I picked up from her shop is Talia. So Talia has on her little romper, which is so, so cute. This, she will be cute in a kind of like bee themed or something like that, sunflowers or something like that. But anywho, uh, like I said, this is a shop on Etsy and um, 
the shop, you know, came up when I moved uh, fashion uh, girls on Etsy, y'all. But that's everything that I picked up from Coco Vision. Next up, I have something from Stick With Katie. And y'all, I am not going in any particular order when it comes to how I purchase these stickers. I did start purchasing some of these stickers in the beginning of February all the way up until the think the first week in March so uh, yeah um, not going in any particular order or anything like that um, but stick with me Katie uh, I do follow her on Instagram so this is not an Etsy purchase this is you know through her um, Instagram page through her um, you know shop from there um, so I picked up Lynn. She had dropped a new collection and I think it was called uh, In the Bag or something with bags. But I picked up Lynn. She has an option too for you to pick up bundles or you can pick up the single uh, fashion doll, y'all. So uh, that's what I chose to do because again, I did not want all of the girls that came in the bundle. Anyway, there is Lauren. And then I picked up Kennedy. She wasn't in the bag collection. She was just uh, an extra doll that I picked up from her shop. But I loved her, you know, relaxing with her wine and just relaxing in bed or something like that. So that is the reason why I picked her up. Y'all know I am a wine down type of girl, especially on Fridays when I have some wine in here. <laughs> But that's everything that I picked up from Stick With Katie. I do believe that she has another collection that she is going to be dropping um, pretty soon. So this is from a shop off of Etsy. Her name is Victoria Christine. And this is what I saw on Etsy. Oh, this is how the stickers looked, okay? But when I got the stickers y'all she cut these stickers up like this and sent them to me in a little envelope now that I did not like okay because I was like there should be another you know way that she could have sent this to me so I did not like that part of how I got the stickers but the stickers are cute they are for black history a month uh, like I said I've had these for a while so <laughs> I'm just not getting to filming and editing and getting it up to y'all but I love the girls and I had every intention on using these in a journaling type of spread some of them could possibly end up making their way into the planner but my main uh, goal was to put these into journaling spreads but anywho uh, I picked these up off of Etsy and again her name is Victoria Christine she does have other um, stickers that you guys can go in and check out not just the sheets she does have uh, fashion dolls and all of that good stuff in her shop as well so if you guys are interested, then go ahead and check her shop out. Uh, it is on Etsy once again, y'all. All right, y'all, moving on. I have some fashion dolls from a shop called The Gooseby Twins. Now, this shop kept popping up on my Instagram page. And I was like, let me go ahead and check out these young ladies uh, to see what they had in their shop. And when I went in there, y'all... I saw these fashion dolls and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And I can use these in some of my March spreads. So I ended up picking up this sheet right here, Gooseby Twins Fashion Couture. And I believe uh, that these are supposed to represent the girls. That's why you have one in one outfit and one in another. But I thought that these were so cute, y'all. So, so cute. And then I have Couture Fashion 2021. Love these. And then, y'all, I could not resist picking up <laughs> the Juneteenth sheet. I, you know 
had to pick this up so yeah I think this is going to work uh, well in a journaling spread or one of my um, Juneteenth um, spreads that I or you know a kit that I picked up from last year but anywho um, that's everything that I picked up from the Gooseby Twins okay so as you guys can see I have already used these two stickers right here uh, I use them in a Valentine's Day spread that has already gone up on my channel <laughs> but this is from an Etsy shop as well and the shop owner's name is Coco Michelle uh, shop Coco Michelle dot Etsy dot com um, but I Mainly went in there when I saw um, the girl holding the uh, conversation heart, but then the you know the sticker had the sheet had all these other stickers on there, and then I wanted to pick up this sheet right here because I have an upcoming spread that I needed some girls to be just relaxing, casual, just you know having some me time, self care, and all of that good stuff. So I went ahead and I picked up this sheet as well and you have all of the girls just relaxing and you know taking it easy so there's that sheet once again I don't like how uh, the sheets are on I mean the stickers are on the sheets like this but I guess it works you know um, you know they're still usable stickers and they are of a good size so um, yeah they are good quality and you know I don't have a problem but it's just how they come on the sheet y'all but you know it is what it is <laughs> and y'all how cute are these mini friends from oh so paper here is the freebie y'all that came with the purchase now these are just a mini versions of the everyday dolls that i picked up and the first one that i have is esme i just love 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 her dress y'all she has her locks in her hair purse matching the dress has on her little heels just loved everything about this one right here y'all and then we have Amina Amina looks like she is ready to head into church or Amina could be a businesswoman going into work for a meeting whatever but I just loved her as well and then y'all look at Kara Carol look like she heading off somewhere. Look at her purse, y'all. How cute is that in her dress? Love, love, love this. And then the last everyday girl I picked up was Amanda. Amanda looks so cute. Look like she going to a club, date out with the girls. Who knows where Amanda is going, y'all but i picked these up these were part of her february everyday girls uh, uh every month she has a little collection of girls to come out and y'all the month of march oh my gosh i have to get the month of march because the girls are in bright colored dresses oranges yellows and i was like i have to get those because they just scream summer spreads summer journaling spreads so yeah that is everything that i picked up from oh so paper all right y'all these are from capital chic designs these are mini um girl i was gonna call them mini friends from <laughs> from the <laughs> other girl shop <laughs> but uh I, I have picked up um girls from capital chic designs before and like i said these are the mini versions she has many many girls and then she has regular fashion girls and i don't think i have ever picked up a regular size uh doll or fashion girl i usually just get the minis but i picked up this uh sheet right here 
Uh, the doctor, I'm gonna be using that in a spread real soon. And then I picked up Sienna. I just loved her outfit because I'm trying to pick up, you know, more spring and summer fashion dolls because all of the dolls that I have have coats and sweaters and jackets and thigh high boots and whatnot. And I was like, I need some spring and summer girls. So that is why you guys see all of these right here. And these these two right here I love because they, you know, their outfits were um, neutral. So I picked these two up. And then I loved Rashida right here in her little summer maxi dress. So I picked her up as well. And her dress is pastel. Because a lot of the times the girls are not in pastel colors. And a lot of my spreads are, you know, pastels. So, you know, I'm just trying to get different, you know, ones to kind of match in some spreads. Not that all of these are going to be going in spreads. Some of them will be going in journaling spreads as well. But, you know options y'all options so that's everything that i picked up from capital chic designs next up i have another etsy shop this is from sandy's paper shack and here is the little thank you card now this you know strip right here y'all the envelope was stuck on the um card so that's why that strip is right there but here are the girls and then she wrote a big huge note you guys and then she has uh, tall girls and then she has mini girls so um, I picked these two up right here in her tall girl uh, collection loved her outfit y'all love this so much and then look at her in her boots and her shorts and her long sleeve top so so cute these are again about four inches long y'all so they are pretty tall pretty sizable and then she has mini girls as well uh, I think she was supposed to be she may be a freebie because I don't remember picking her up but anyway have her in her red suit and then I picked up some mini uh, girls as well and they are all lined up on the sheet because you have to you know when you pick up the mini ones they just come on a sheet like this so uh yeah um they all have on different little outfits and i just thought that these were adorable loved her outfit right here and this one right here love 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 and then all of these girls right here i don't know why but i feel like i have seen her a lot somewhere but you know it could be just my imagination <laughs> but like i said these are mini ones and uh, i wanted to try her shop to see if i was going to like her to see if i wanted to pick up you know some more girls from her shop but anyway that's sandy's paper shack and she is on etsy all right y'all next up i have another shop that was on etsy and it's called let's get planned uh this is jasmine and jasmine has on a pink sweater dress i love 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 that pink and then i picked up lene or lania and i picked her up on transparent matte because you do have the option to get transparent matte or you can get white paper so I wanted to go ahead and you know try that out to see if I was going to like that so I picked her up on that paper then I picked up Jasmine again in her black dress I picked up Makia Nyoko in the little snake skinned outfit y'all she's so cute she reminds me of tracy ellis ross uh when i saw her in this outfit and that hair that's what she reminds me of and then i picked up onezo a um, onezo in her black dress and then i picked up duma in her leopard print outfit just because i love leopard print y'all but uh again this was 
on Etsy. It's one of the first shops that popped up when I googled fashion dolls. <laughs> so yeah, uh, y'all, she had really fast shipping, y'all. I ordered these dolls, uh, I think, in the morning. And by that afternoon, y'all, she had sent me out a shipping notice. So yeah, she be on it, y'all. So if you're interested, go in and try her shop out. That's Let's Get Planned on Etsy. And of course, I had to pick some up <laughs> from Red Lyrics. She had a sale going on that weekend, y'all, when I was on my hunt for some fashion girls. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some up from her as well. Although I do, you know, have a ton from Red Lyrics. But here is the little card that came. You know, she gives you a little card each month when you order from her. And that was her, that's the card that we got in. February and then she gives you the next month or whatever month you know that she gives you when you purchase but that was the March one and again you guys I really really wanted some summer and spring uh, fashion dolls and fashion girls so that is what I picked up uh, this is girls with hats and I just love you know the hats the dresses I loved all of the colors the you know dresses just remind you so much of spring and um, yeah so I picked this sheet up and this one right here y'all love this girl in this dress right here so I knew I wanted to pick her up so yeah 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 love this love her and her little outfit as well and then this one I knew I wanted to pick up as well love all of this bright yellow and black and then I picked up these girls and I think I no I may not have this sheet but these are the mini girls and they just Many girls in bright is what they say, but I love the colors in here. Reminds me of spring and summer. And then I have these girls right here. Love this one right here in this dress. Love this baby blue. So yeah, pick this up. And then I picked up uh, Fashion Girls number six because I loved her and her little outfit. Can you guys see that? So, so. I have Curvy Girls number four. They are all in their summer attire, y'all. Look at her in, well not in, she has on shorts, some flip flops, y'all. But look at her <laughs> with her uh, Louis Vuitton bag. So cute, y'all. And I picked up these mom to be. Uh, you all know that my daughter just had a baby, and then my niece is having a baby. So, I uh, went ahead and picked these up right here. And the, y'all, look at this girl right here in her culottes. I loved these pants. I love that whole outfit, y'all. So, <laughs> that is the main reason why I picked this page up. But this page looks like everybody is going on a cruise or, you know, going somewhere that has to do with some water. Somewhere, somehow. But, yeah, I love this sheet right here. And then the last one that I picked up, y'all, this girl right here in this dress. I picked this up for that dress right there, y'all. I think she looks so cute in that dress. I love, love, love that dress. Now, I don't have too many red spreads in my planner line up, so these may make their way in there or they could possibly make their way in a journaling spread, but I will be using them somehow, some way, y'all. But that is everything that I picked up from Red Lyrics. And this shop right here, y'all, is called Cuteness Boutique. 
Uh, this is one of the shops that I googled on Etsy. So she has a little note here. These are freebies, y'all. And the little note says, check out the new website, has all the new releases. Enjoy some freebies, Trika. So let's look at the freebies real quick. We have Janelle right here in her red and white. Then we have some die cuts. Her and her pink tie shirt. That's so cute. And then we have a, another little, I don't think this is a die cut, this is a sticker. But we, this look like, y'all remember those little uh, Barbie heads uh, that came like this and you could only comb her hair and she would be cut off like this? That is what this sticker is reminding me of. That little Barbie uh, head. I don't even know if they still make those anymore. I haven't been in a toy department in so long, y'all. So, yeah, but that's what this sticker reminds me of. And then, yeah, look at her. She is so cute with her Mickey Mouse sweater on. Her shades. This is a die cut. Yep, that's a die cut. And then we have her business card right here. I guess we should have started off with that, but it's all good. And then the last freebie is, oh my gosh, she is giving me Angelina Jolie vibes with these lips. So, so cute. Now on to what I picked up, I think. I just got two uh, sets of girls from her. If I can get the package opened. This is why I come out on open packages on camera, y'all. I do all of this off camera and I just show y'all <laughs> the product. But here is the sheet. It is Nini. Or should I say Nene? But yeah, I picked her up, y'all. I loved her outfit, her jeans and her top. But I think I just showed y'all something similar to this. But anyway, I picked her up again. Oh, did I pick up three? I don't think I did, y'all. But here's L. L has on a lavender t-shirt with a jacket, jeans, heels. I may have picked up three sheet y'all and then we have tangy tangy has on a nice orange it's not coming off it's it's a bright orange it's not looking like that on camera but it's real pretty and um she has her little bag like she just picked up some things from the garden or she went to the farmer's market but yeah love this love this so much i told you guys that i am trying to build up my summer and spring but that's everything that i picked up from cuteness boutique so i guess she has a shop on etsy and then i guess she has a new online shop y'all so yeah check her out if you guys are interested all right y'all that is going to be it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed seeing the fashion dolls the fashion girls that i have been picking up now y'all i am still upset that i did not get any of those gold mine and coco's fashion dolls and it depends on what her next collection is like if i'm going to pick some up up but <laughs> for now I'm happy with all of these that I have been picking up. Uh, I have just become obsessed with having the right fashion doll, fashion girl for my planner spreads. And y'all, I did not even start picking these up to put in my planner spreads. I started picking these up so that I could put in my journaling spreads. And it has just progressed from there. I have just been enjoying putting them in my sidebar now and putting them in spaces where I don't have anything to mark. So yeah, it has become an obsession y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, great week, whenever you are viewing this video right here. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.